Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see all the Imperium magazines getting right up to date to issue 50, including some bonus items. Here we go, so I got a little bit behind with my unboxing videos for the Imperium magazine, so I'm going to go from issue 36 to 38 and then right up to issue 50. So we got lots to cover, there's also some bonus items including a couple of books that came with the most recent delivery and we also got another folder to put our collection in and that folder came with issues 43 through 46 delivery. So lots to look at, so in the video I'll unpack everything, we'll have a look at the sprue and then we'll go through the magazines real quickly. I'm not going to build everything because some of this I'm not even sure if I want to keep to be fair because it's quite a mixed lot here so let's get started we'll go through each one in turn and you'll see exactly what's included let's kick off this Imperium Marathon with issue 36 so let's get it open and this is a pretty good one glad to be getting some more of the Necrons now we've had quite a lot of the different factions and things but now we're getting back to the core the Necrons so here we're going to get one of the Tomb Blades included. So that's a really nice addition for this issue. These are always my favourite sections right at the beginning that tell you all about the different weapons and parts of the model. And then we're going to get loads of info that goes through and just tells us a little bit of the background of some different vehicles and things. Great how to build and paint guides as usual. Then we've got our Tomb Blades data sheet. So we're going to get all the stats there, a little tutorial to play, another little update for the rules and then a little mission, a scout mission to play. So there we go, there's our first one, issue 36. Here's the sprue that's included, which allows us to build one tomb blade. So very nice, happy with this issue. Great to get a nice new model that we haven't seen before. Let's not muck about and go straight on to 37. I'm so happy to have my knife back. Big shout out to Cyclair Knives and Tools for sending that. If you didn't see that video, it's up on the channel, so go check that out. But here we go, issue 37. So we're going to get quite a bit in here. We've got a nice bit of scenery. We've got the pipes. We've got a pullout, and that's going to give us some info on the Adeptus Mechanicus and the Necrons. So these are nice. The artwork in these are really good. I've got, you've got to give it credit. It's really done nicely, this whole range. And it's really fun to put it together in the folders we've got the magazine itself we've got the miniatures to put together there we're going to get four of these pipes and conduits this tells us how they work and how they um, affect the battlefield then we've got some info about the adeptus mechanicus another detailed how to build section how to paint with the paints we've got so far in the collection and i'm going through this quite quick because i think a lot of this is covered now in previous issues the layout is very much the same now so if you want to have a more detailed look at what's included in these types of magazines definitely check out the previous videos i've done for the series but that's the magazine so a nice flick through there and let's have a little look at the sprue there's some really good details on these the control panels are fantastic lots of dials and little screens so these are going to look really good when painted up Issue 38 now, and these can be a little bit boring when you get the paints included, I've got to admit, once you get those, it's a bit disappointing, um, but we get some technical astro granite though, so not too bad, and a pot of layer aerial yellow, which I haven't got, which is nice, and a little handy tool, you can never have too many of those, so that's all you're going to get, no models this time, and we get a nice big mat though, and this is a huge one, this is going to fill up your battlefield so this is going to get you ready to play a nice big battle and you've got the two sides so i think these are really good additions to the collection i'm really glad they that they're included now we're going through the magazine itself we've got a little bit for the adeptus mechanicus ultramarines we're going to learn about some space wolves the emperor's executioners very happy to see them included and then a bit more necron info too and this is telling us how to use our texture paint and the little tool and so that's really nice. We can start actually basing some of the models now, which is fantastic. We've got some more rules to add to it. Really nice to have these printed off and then running the gauntlet and another scout mission. So that's that one. Now let's move on to the next delivery. So those three were part of a delivery. And now we're on to 43. We're skipping quite a few because I did cover some of these in a previous video already. And we've got a nice little brush here, a layer brush. And this one's come out quite nicely. The bristles are nice and pointy. Sometimes they could be splayed out. So very happy that that one's in good condition. And another boring paint, but it is Stormhose Silver. So nice to get another one. Some of these sometimes aren't mixed that well. So you will have to give them a really good 
shake, get a ball bearing in there maybe, and mix it up really well. Now let's have a look at issue 43. Got a nice name table for the Adepta Sororitas. We're going to have a bit more info for the Necrons. Thousand Suns. Played against those a few times now. Very annoying with all their smites that come at you and stuff. Now we've got how to paint. Another nice guide using those new paints. And then going through Ultramarines and Necrons. So we can use that new paint on those. And then we're going to get a bit more info about the Adepta Sororitas and a scout mission to play. Right, now let's move on to the next one, and it's issue 44. Look at that knife, so sharp, love it. And now we're going to get this one out, and it's a nice terrain sprue. I'm really liking the terrain that's included in the Imperium magazine. So you're getting quite a lot as well. And here's the sprue. Let's have a good look. I've done a video that focuses on this one, because it's already been out in previous issues. So if you want a closer look at it and see this build, then that's already up on the channel. But in the magazine now, we're going to get a little bit more info about battle zones. We're going to learn about the white scars. So see, we're now starting to see all the different chapters and different factions getting some attention. Great guides again on how to paint. They've done a really good job with the, the Factorum terrain because it's so easy just with dry brushing. And this is nice. A little section on how to place terrain. So very happy to get that. I'll be looking forward to reading that one. We're going to learn about strategic uh, reserves. And then another little mission. So this time it's another scout mission called Domination. All right, let's go with 45. And thanks for sticking with me. If you're still here, this is really fun getting these done really quick. And I'm just trying to resist not talking too fast because I feel like I'm in some kind of race to get all these open. But here we go. It's 45 issue and we've got a nice big base because we've got a really nice model included in here now for the Necrons. So this is going to be one of the half size sprue and that's going to be one model. So I've been looking forward to getting hold of this one because this is the Canoptic Wraith and I really like those. But we've got a nice pull out here, the Alien Tides. Again, great photography, really nice to see all the armies. And I like all these little star charts and things you get, all real fun stuff to look at and read about. So yeah, the Canoptic Wraith, brilliant looking model. Hopefully we'll get a few more of these as the collection goes on and we'll learn about all the different components and what it can do. So I think there's three of those in the collection. So that's really nice. More Adepta Sororitas info. And then we're gonna have a little read about the Astro Militarum. So that's really great. Another thorough how to build guides. I find these better than the ones that come in the boxes. They're really well done. And the paint guides, you can't go wrong with them either. Step by step, taking you through each paint type. Great tips. We've got a data sheet for the new model now, and we've got a terrain, uh, sorry, a battle that we can play. Issue 46 is next, and we're going to get some more models now. And this is the Adepta Sororitas Sprue. So these are the ones I'm not sure if I'm going to build and keep or if I'm going to sell. I'm going to hold on to them for a little bit. And so, yeah, wait and see on that. But um, it's nice that you get them in the collection to have a mix. But I'm not really interested in this faction, it doesn't really appeal to me. But um, if you like it, it's really good to get a, a nice mix and put together an army of the Imperium. So here we go, all the components. There's some nice bits on here, though. Uh, even if you're doing some kit bashing, those jetpacks are good. So they could be quite good, those like wing effects. So they're really nice. So nice sprue. But you're going to get the Adepta Sororitas reinforcements here. And it's going to allow you to build seven miniatures. And you get a little bit of info about what they are going to be. And then we've got the Seraphim Squad as well, so some info on that. We're going to combine this with another issue later on, and then that'll give you a good selection of the different models that go together. I think you end up with three of those uh, Seraphim models. And again, we've got nice, good, clear guides on how to paint this. Quite a thorough one this time, because there's a lot to paint, a lot of different models. Then we've got their data sheets, a bit of info for a tutorial, and then straight in to a scout mission. Getting close to the end now and only a few to go as we move on to number 47 and it's another boring paint one but we do get a new paint that I don't have so that's nice. Pink Horror and Wild Rider Red. I've got loads of Wild Rider Red because I also collected the Mortal Realms and it seems to be very common that paint. So I've got about four tubs of those now which is probably more than I'll ever need but yeah you never know I'll maybe have to do a project that's all red. But this is again dedicated to the Adepta Sororitas, bringing us up to date with all the info for the units we're going to build. So yeah, really heavy on those. And then again, how to paint the different models using those new paints now. So we can start doing some highlighting. We've got our data sheets for the Sisters Repenitor and the other. And then on to another tutorial so we can play them in another scout mission. 
Issue 48, we're going to get more terrain, and this is cool. So, yeah, quite repetitive, because it's exactly the same as we've already seen, but nice to have it. You do need this terrain if you're going to be, be playing on the bigger mats, or even if you're using it for kill team. I think this would be fantastic. So a nice way to get it one bit at a time. But you really want to be painted all these at the same time, because that's going to really speed things up. So there we go. Nice terrain piece there to put together, and then we're going to get... Another flick through, more Adeptus Sororitas info, so really heavy on them. We're going to learn about the Dark Angels chapter, and then some Space Marines, Apothecarion, the Imperial Creed, the Adeptus Sororitas, the Penitent. So yeah, loads of info over the last few issues for them, as we've seen so many of their models released. And now, again, painting, so we've seen a lot of that. It's just pretty much the same technique as you've seen on the other terrain pieces. Then we're on to another scout mission. And then look at this on the back. We've got some really cool stuff coming up in the next two issues. Now we're on to number 49. And we've only got one more to do after this. And they're both brilliant. So let's have a look at 49. We're going to get more Adeptus Sororitas models. And this is going to give us a good chunk now. We've got quite a few points of those in up to issue 49. So yeah, nice big sprue, a double sprue. And that's going to have loads of cool bits. So this is going to be really fun, I think, to put together if I keep it. Really not sure. Not sure whether to or not. It would be good to have a combat patrol of them to play against. It give, gives my other army something to shoot at. But um, yeah, we'll wait and see. Get a nice pull out again. This opens up. And we're going to have a mission this time. The initiate mission. Overwhelming assault. So this is going into a bit more detail and rather than the scout missions we've got a bit more info to go on here so that's really nice that they've done that to mix it up a little bit a nice new thing there and let's have a look through the magazine itself we're focusing on the penitent engine so yeah again heavy on depth of sororitas we've got repentia superior and then how to build all the models included on that sprue. So from this magazine backwards, you should have everything you need now to get these almost finished painting wise. And also you'll have the whole how to build guide as well. So yeah, you're going to be pretty close to getting these done. You've got your data sheets now for all of them. And then you've got the mission in the pullout. But the next issue 50 is the one. This is what I've been looking forward to. The Royal Court for the Necrons. If you're a Necrons player and you just wanted to get this magazine, then you would have saved some money because this is a really good one to get hold of. For $7.99, this is where you get the good value. I mean, even though you see some paints and you're like, oh, I'm losing money on those. Overall, it evens out and you do save quite a bit on this. And even when you take into consideration, you can get up to 20% discount at places like Firestorm Games and other online retailers and friendly local game stores, of course. So yeah, um, yeah, great value overall. But when you get one like this, it does feel really cool. And this is going to be focusing on those models that are included. I imagine the how to build section is going to be pretty big because there's like a few models here. So we look at, oh, it's not actually as big as I thought, actually looking at it now. And then we've got the painting guide again, using everything we've got so far. We've got a canoptic reanimator data sheet there. And then we've got some tutorials, reanimation and a scout mission again. So that's it. Now look at this next one. 52 looks good, but we haven't got that yet. So that'll be coming up soon and some more paints to look forward to. All right, so we also got the Imperium folder. Now, this is the third one of the collection. These are the ones you have to pay for. You get one free at the beginning if you signed up right early on, but you do have to pay for these. You can cancel it. You just have to ring up Hatchet Partworks and say you don't want it. Um, but if you want it, they're going to automatically charge you. So if you don't ring them, you will automatically get it and you will automatically get charged. The same goes for these books. They give you a little bit of notice up front and they let you know they are going to charge you because this is £25, which is quite hefty, really. You've got two books. It's limited edition because you're only buying it in this collection. So the only way to get hold of it is through the collection or on eBay. And there's a good chance I'm going to be selling these because I don't imagine I'll read them. So I'm going to leave them wrapped and I'll be posting these on eBay. So look out for that. And there'll be some more news on my new store coming up very soon because I'm going to be selling a lot of things. Um, so look out for that in future videos. So there we go. That was a big Imperium marathon getting through all those issues. But hopefully that's given you a good idea of what's included. And we're up to date. That's the main thing. We're up to date with the collection now. It's all covered every issue on the channel. And again, I've gone in much more detail in previous videos looking at the models, building them and everything. But with this lot here, there's a lot 
that I'm potentially not going to build. I'm going to be selling some of it. So, yeah, I didn't want to put everything together. So I thought I'd wait. But now we should be getting back into Space Marines and more Necrons, which is what I'm really excited about. So hopefully in the next issues to come, we'll be focusing back on the Ultra Marines. And then I'll start building them again in those future episodes of this series. If you're interested in getting the Imperium magazine, it's really a case of looking out for it at local news agents now. But if you're up for any other hobby products, then check out Firestorm Games. Links down below. You can save up to 20% on your hobby items. And there's a link down there that they've sent me a special code and you can save a further 5% with them if you order before the end of August this year. So check that out down below. A big thank you to this month's sponsors for making these daily videos possible. And of course, a huge thank you to you as well for watching the video. And I hope you liked it. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>